Can you tell me about that? This was a struggle. She was in school and uh, was all right by the coaches and the teachers and uh, support of his family. I think that my page is a different thing. That's what I'm doing. All right. All right. Um, Sure, that was a case where um, Mr. Sanders was charged with assault and battery. Um, he was in high school at the time, and um, the person, the, the victim of the assault and battery, did receive a concussion as a result of the incident. Mr. Sanders, as I indicated, he was in high school. He had um, college opportunities and um, scholarship opportunities at the time that the incident occurred. That a lot of that case, I was in New Orleans and advocated in that case. And um, in that role, I wanted to preserve his record if possible so that he could still go to school. Um, he was eligible to play at, um, on a football team at the school that he was going to. So a conviction could potentially have anything to do with that. I did present a memorandum together and um, we presented it to the judge. And although it was a disagreed upon recommendation, the judge did accept my recommendation with a lot of conditions. And Mr. Samuel was able to get the constraints without a finding and go to school. And to my knowledge, to this day, he's doing great. Um, I have to ask you this because um, I know that um, as an attorney, Attorney Jubal has, has spoken about you that you were opposing lawyers. Yes, that was quite a case. It was. It was a homicide. Yeah, yeah. You, you want to talk about that? Sure. That was the case of um, Mr. LePage. And in that case, the. Um, <clears throat> The victim was stabbed seven times, and the defendant was obviously charged with that homicide. The defense was self-defense, and we went to trial, um, and it ended up being a conviction. After that conviction, though, while, while Mr. Um, Page's case was pending in the first court, the um, instructions on manslaughter were, were changed, so Mr. Page got the benefit of that, and the case was reversed, and he did get another trial, and I believe he was convicted of second degree. Uh, tell me, um, I asked you this when we met, what is your opinion about increasing the age in the juvenile court? Oh, we didn't discuss that. To be honest, I haven't done enough literature on that, read enough about it to give a, an informed decision on, on that. How did you vote on the marijuana question? Did you get those things on there when you voted? Well, when you well, vote. Sure, when I, I voted for it um, because I felt like it was something that I, I preferred to have that regulated rather than have the possibility of having it not regulated and perhaps other products be mixed in with the marijuana. So I did vote. Um, I vote. What do you think about the edible? Honestly, I haven't given the edible. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when I read well, it, likes them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it really isn't funny because we had a 15 year old on the bus and, yeah. and someone gave him that he thought there were gummy bears and, ah. and I guess the expert, but I guess the edibles, they don't kick in like they do the other way, so they kept eating and we ate a lot of them. He was rushed to the hospital, he was, you know, going into, you know, and, and uh, crying and upset, my mother was upset, and I'm just, you know, I, I'm very concerned about that. So you don't think that marijuana is a gateway to other drugs? Again, I haven't done any research on that, so I would not be able to tell a comment on that, whether it's a gateway or not, I haven't. And, and I'm not in any way either, but my two friends who lost their son, they both started in marijuana. So um, I, I have no, you know, information on that either. But um, it, it was a, a pleasure meeting you, and um, we went over a lot of things. I regret that you only had such a short time. And we ask you to submit your resume, your questionnaire to the Governance Council eight days before the hearing. And uh, you were told the hearing would be seven days before the hearing. You were told there was a hearing, so you went back to the future. You were amazing, and I thank your witnesses for coming. That was amazing to, to come at this short time. So um, I, I'm really pleased because um, this is what I look for. I look for experience, and, and, and you did a lot of criminal, which I, I really like, and you've seen it all. And um, with your age and, and you know, life experience, that means a lot to come to the bench with that. And um, not 
I've seen that all the time here. And um, I'm really glad you got through. And I mean that you got through. <laughs> because it is not. I want to ask you before, um, before I conclude, um, I always ask the process, the process of you apply to one of the JMC. How many members of the JMC did you have? I didn't count, uh, but I think And you know there's 21. So 21 vote in only 12 selected. That's, I have nothing to do with that. That's the JNC. I disagree with that. So, um, how, how, and did you have anyone on the speaker phone? Yes. Oh, yeah. Did that person ask questions? I don't think so. No. Right. Okay. Enough said. I don't have to leave that alone. It's nothing to do with you. It's just, what I'm, I'm, I'm not pleased with the process, but you got through. And um, now you apply <coughs> December fourteenth. I put in my application of um, last year. Uh, yes, that's what. Yeah. So seventeen. You applied before. December fourteenth of twenty seventeen. Oh, okay. Of twenty seventeen is when I applied. Yeah. yeah. That was this time. Yes. <coughs> yeah. So um, you do apply to the district court, which was. In the past, maybe. No, but I'm, I, I'm sorry, I have to rewrite this. Did you apply to other courts? Oh, yes, in 2005. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, right. right. Right, So you were approved by the JNC, but. Yeah, no, I didn't get to the JNC. Did you have an interview? Yes, I did. Okay, how long was the interview in chair this time? Which is after uh, about 20 minutes. 20 minutes, maybe a little. No, no one on that speaker phone asked a question. I'm, I'm just very pleased. I'm glad you applied. I'm glad you got through. And that we have someone with your experience. And um, you're right. I appreciate that. No, I like that. I, I thank you. Sure. Thank you. And thank you for all your time. Thank you. I mean, we had three from you. We usually don't have three, three today. I met with someone Friday, Monday, Tuesday. So I that's not the way we do it because, you know, we don't even have the question yes from the Governance Council to do what I do diligence. I did it. <laughs> thank you. But thank you so much. I really appreciate all the time. Thank you. I didn't realize how much time we took. I, I called and apologized to you. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Ayanella. Yes, I don't have that many questions, so you have outstanding uh, background. Uh, sorry we didn't connect up and that's just didn't work out. Sure. That's fine. Uh, you don't have a lot of civil experience, but that's fine. What about a question? Uh, continuances. What's your thoughts on continuances? Well, my thoughts are my experience in this 31 years is that for lawyers and in the court system are really hard workers, if there's someone who asks for a continuance, there's generally a reason. So in most situations, I would be fine. Okay. If I were fortunate enough to be fine. Sure. Now, what do you have that? Uh, so let's give me, I, I've asked this question for a so Somebody, you know, a continuance, a continuance, and you grant the first continuance. Then the next one, I believe it, I got another matter in another court. You're going to grant that continuance? I think, I mean, every situation. Is okay, I'll make you more specific. <laughs> I have a case in uh, federal court, uh, Social Security Administration in Atlanta, Georgia. What are you going to do? I, I think if I were lucky. No, we, we know. Um, I would. I would do it. To be honest, I think extending the common courtesy to people, particularly if they're um, all working hard in the court system, I really don't have a problem with that. No, I got that. But with all due respect, you said that at first. I think I would do it. I don't even say like, okay. And now, unbelievable. Now the third time, and it's you got kids. You see, like that. Now the third time. Oh, it, I'm sorry. Are you saying that continue? Like, what is that? No, that's my the second. The first one you continue. The second one, the lawyers in federal court in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, the third, the third, someone's coming a third time. Oh, my husband or my wife gave me a surprise trip. I didn't know if I'm going to continue the case because I know it's the third continuance. But we're all going to Atlanta. What are you doing on that? I, I would be hard pressed to say no on that, but my, my question is also is it for a trial or is it for just a. a well, Steve, I'll send it to trial. If it's a trial, I would, if somebody came in that day, 
No, no, but they give you two days before. What, just, you know, three days, four days before. If it's before and if I can deal with it, I can do that. What does that mean? You know, the Commonwealth in this case says, no, I got this, I got this. This is the third continuance. Come on. What do you do? It, I give it. Seems like I'm reluctant not giving you kids, you, you know. No, I would but I guess it. my question is, should it be almost unlimited in this sense? It's one thing if it's judge shopping. I get it when you get a sense. But what about the case when it's legitimately? I have a case in Atlanta, Georgia. Federal, you know, this is the state court. Unbelievable. It's now the fourth continuance, and this one is in, you know, Sacramento, California. Here's the notice. I didn't know about it before. I mean, you have to, I hope you'll be. Sure. I mean, my husband and I go through that on a daily basis um, as far as making sure courts are covered. And like I said, I, I firmly believe any attorney that comes before and asks for continuance needs it. And I certainly would be able to do that. Okay. Well, it's that's also good. important to, for them to feel prepared for any event. Sure. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. What about motions for summary judgment? Uh, do you have any experience in that? Do you have any familiarity with that? Or? I have familiarity with it. I, as a general rule, I think that people should have the right in court. I don't, um, I obviously haven't had a lot of civil experience, sure. but that would be my opinion. That's my, that's my opinion oh. as well. Uh, most of the judges are like that, but you get a few who are not as uh, understanding. Uh, but uh, I don't have any further questions. I think you're going to make an outstanding uh, appointment. We're going to be more than happy to support you when your name comes before the board. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Counselor. Counselor Kennedy. Yeah, he'll be up for a couple hours of questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, we spent a lot of time together the last uh, couple of weeks. I've talked on the phone a lot. Uh, and I don't have any specific questions for you. I've known you for decades. I, I, I've known you since you were a young prosecutor, probably before that. Um, although I don't remember you in law school, I think you were only a year behind me. Um, the, um, Matt Mishera called me last night. Uh, he had intended to be here, Jeff Mishera, uh, uh, had a trial date yesterday, so we couldn't. And he wanted me to stress that uh, he uh, fully supports me on the next one. I'm going to convey that to everybody else. Um, I have no questions. I'm just highly qualified. I'm going to vote for you next week. I'm not even going to vote for you. I appreciate that. Thank you, Councilor Yes, um, good morning. Uh, I, we talked. Uh, some length of time. Um, after our discussion, I am very comfortable sitting with the judge um, on, on all aspects, most importantly, public safety. Sides of the ledger in terms of asking for continuance, and then in some instances, very thinking we're not going to stop when Tom says we'll get the same point in time. I like special circumstances, but for the most part, I was very easy to get continuances because that's one thing my father said to me don't forget. And he was a lawyer. Very excellent judge who does not forget. Uh, the other thing is, I did get some unsolicited phone calls from some other folks that um, I was on the bench with and uh, they just didn't want to stay. Uh, raising your abilities and um, person. So I think all that matters. Um, I think all the questions have been asked. Uh, your resume certainly speaks itself. And um, uh, I have no questions. Okay. Round three. <laughs> oh, no. Uh oh. Uh, no, Attorney McCarthy, we spent a lot of time together. We've spoken a lot. And I have to echo uh, it's not just Counsel Hurley, Judge Hurley, um, comments on your application. It is an outstanding application. Great balance, um, good writing skills, wonderful knowledge of the law, compassion, everything really, the entire package that we look for. 
um, in that this council strives, strives to produce nomination. So it will be my honor, my distinct honor next week to present your name with the nomination. Um, although I think it's January 2nd. January 2nd. Um, but, uh, and we did rush this a little bit. The Superior Court desperately needs uh, people to fill the vacancies on the bench. And had we waited, it, it could have caused a, a lot more turmoil uh, that our justice system really just frankly can't afford right now. So, with that said, uh, this hearing is ended. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, is that Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe it holds Jess outside if you want to play. Thank you. 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 Thank you.